probably told not to speak to strangers. And that's fine. That's fine. My name is T. And over there's my... Was that you squeaking? Ooh, no, that wasn't. I heard that. Yeah, that's... Now I hear you squeaking. I heard What that. was that? It sounded like a voice. I, I don't... It did. Yeah, it wasn't your... No, you're, it, wasn't you're me, it wasn't me. It wasn't... Nothing got like caught in my throat. There was... I, I marked it, but... I, it was a mumble. Did you you heard that right? One hundred percent. It all started with a video game. Oh God, no! Oh, I'm running! I'm running! I'm springing! I'm springing! During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia. And it was the lockdown diversion I needed. But as we were easing out of the pandemic, I got a phone call from Phil asking me, How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are. Just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. Located on the border of Prince William County, Fauquier County, and that is pronounced Fauquier, was listed in 1608 as part of the northern neck of the Virginia colony by Captain John Smith, leader of the Jamestown colony, and named after Francis Fauquier, the lieutenant governor residing between 1758 and 1768. The area is comprised of several towns and villages, which include Warrington, The Plains, Della Plain, Fauquier Springs, and Goldvein. Fauquier County, while not the site of any major clashes between Union and CSA forces, hosted several skirmishes involving infantry and cavalry. During the Second Battle of Manassas, over 1,800 wounded soldiers were brought to Warrington to makeshift hospitals set up in businesses, churches, and homes. Fauquier was home to Colonel John Singleton Mosby, a Confederate officer known as the Grey Ghost, due to leading lightning-quick raids and easily eluding anyone in pursuit. Another notable resident, John Marshall, served as the fourth Chief of Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States from 1801 to 1835, helping shape American constitutional law and was influential in making the Supreme Court a co-equal branch of government with the legislative and executive branches. Today, Fauquier County is known for being the heart of hunt and wine country in Virginia, famous for its horse farms, beautiful rolling land at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and home of Old Busthead Brewery. Serving as the center of the Fauquier Historical Society, the Fauquier Historic Jail, also known as the Fauquier History Museum at the Old Jail, was built in 1808. The front portion of the jail containing four cells and approved to house 40 prisoners. In 1823, a new stone jail complete with a hanging and exercise yard was built to the rear of the older structure. The 1808 jail was converted to a house for the jailer and his family. The facility was an active jail until 1966 and is regarded as one of the most perfectly preserved old jails in the state. The jail buildings now feature displays that offer weapons and uniforms from the American Civil War, World War I, and World War II, a colonial kitchen complete with common items used in such spaces, tools of the trade from historical Warrington businesses, and a mirror from the Warren Green Hotel that Wallace Warfield Spencer obsessively used to assure her look was appropriate to fulfill the role of the Duchess of Windsor. Today, the old jail welcomes visitors from across the country and around the world, and the history of the museum and the town of Warrington offers is rich and engaging. There are, however, darker chapters that still reside within these stone walls, 
and those at the center of those stories will not hesitate to make their presence known. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, wow, you're just jumping in. <laughs> you are ready to record a brand new I episode, aren't you? I am ready to record a brand new episode. It feels good to be back. It feels really good to be back. Hey, we have missed you all. Well, uh, real quick, I do want to say for those of you who found us through the Project Fear Review, we just want to say thanks and welcome aboard. So tonight, you're going to be joining us at... The historic Fauquier County Jail. And we are planning to do something a little different. In our research, we have been noting that most paranormal shows are going for more immersive clips as opposed to what we do where it's couch commentary. So we're going to start changing things up and just trying some different formats with the clips. And we'd love to know what you think. So please, by all means, go on ahead and drop us a comment. And while you're there, like and subscribe to the channel and enable those notifications for whenever we put up new content. Those likes, those subs, everything you do to interact with us that really helps us out here at Old Spirits Investigations. This place had a very interesting, interesting vibe about it. Yeah. Very interesting yeah. vibe about it. And I, the best way to, to show that off is to show you how it was when we were setting up. We were getting the royal treatment from Seth, who was our guide for the first part. Yeah. He was giving us all different mm -hmm. kinds of history. And we really had to be on our toes because even that tour, as you're gonna see in this clip, it live on stream, it took a, uh, it, 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 it took off straight away. Mm -hmm. Mark this, mark this point. And because we, it wasn't like we were moving around. It wasn't like we were touching any of the tables. It was the moment I heard that door shut and I just said, okay, um, is there somebody here? And of course, coming around the corner, nothing yeah. there. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. And okay. I, even, I even heard footsteps <clears throat> come into the That's right, into you the did space. mention that, didn't you? I'm, and I'll have to see if I have that on, on any of the other clips. We can throw that out on social media. But again, mm. so that wasn't the only unexplained phenomena to occur oh. during setup. Okay. So Seth had taken you out of that, that first building over to the courtyard, over to maximum security. Mm -hmm. You're getting ready to uh, get your drone up in the air right. for some aerial shots. And I was still in the reception area getting some stuff out of my uh, cases. And well, this is what I heard. Rampod was going off. Very, very nice. Lovely, lovely song. Are you? That's you out in the hall. The wife the of the jailer? Grandpa 
going off again. <laughs> so now you hear my footsteps. You can't see me in the frame. But at that point, I'm going around the corner and I'm looking around to see if there was anyone else in the space. Because if you listen, the quality of the voices from outside, the quality of the voices from outside, you can tell they're outside. Right. Because they sound distant. They sound like they're coming okay. through a wall. So that, you're, so you're, that, you're sure that was not coming from outside? 100%. It wow. was coming from upstairs. Wow. Yeah. And wow. again, I didn't have a camera on yet. Right, we were. We I had were, literally we were still taken a single recorder out, one that's not even super sensitive that wouldn't really pick up the outside sounds mm -hmm. loudly, just to have something running so I could get my camera set up because I got the camera on right after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, <laughs> we it's it's amazing the stuff that we have picked up just during the setup process alone. Yeah, that is nuts. And it could, and it, I always get a kick out of that too. Yeah. When we're when you're watching taps mm -hmm. and they're starting to put stuff out or kindred spirits and there's already things activity happening. going yeah. on. Yeah. But it, it's it, it is a little funny how it feels like it happens to us on the regular because with <laughs> taps with taps and with uh, with kindred and not even so much with kindred spirits but definitely with taps they have that set up montage you know where they're putting up the mm -hmm. lights they're, yeah. they're they're rolling out the cables mm -hmm. but. <laughs> with us, we're putting up the lights, we're putting up the cables, and people are going, "Move it to the side!" And we're like, yes. "Where did that come from?" You yeah. know, and it's yeah. it's it, yeah. it is it is it is uh, it is ridiculous. And but, I will say that after this experience, yeah. where because I would honestly say this was probably our most uh, eventful setup. I would say this was I, our most yeah. eventful setup, yeah. probably right next to Linville. And then after that, I I have committed to. Not turning on a recorder first, but getting at least one camera on first. Get one camera mm -hmm. on. I, th that would be the 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 uh, the golden rule mm -hmm. is that you got to get a camera going, and you got to get a recorder going. And here's where we're going to try something different. We're going to go on ahead. And we're going to not be picture in picture, but we're just going to play an uninterrupted segment. So again, something new, something different. Phil, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm like, I'm not sure what. <laughs> no, that's okay. As long as it didn't fall. <laughs> no, no, no. I caught it in time. All right. So we're moving to this other side. Moving to this other side of the room. See, we can't hear. I'm going to set a couple things back there. Okay. Did you do that? Hang on, hang on. That's my shadow did it. Educate. No, that wasn't me. That was not you? No, because my shadow went on it. Let's see. A shadow that's wouldn't. Me. That's me. Okay. A shadow wouldn't, 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 uh, wouldn't trip. It shouldn't. No. No. Josie, was that you? All right, I'm going to grab those two batteries from there. Okay. So, what we've been told is that this was the kids' be the, this was the kids' bedroom and playroom. So I'll position the camera accordingly, and we're gonna try some stuff. We got some trigger objects here. Um, actually, there was something else. Oh, it's cool, is it? It's good. It's good. So what have you done in the other room, Phil? You so said you could... I've got, it's like a riding, little riding. Yeah, thing. like a hobby horse. Yeah, and I've got my, the shadow seeker ah, on top of that. Ah, got it, got it. So it's, it should detect some kind of uh, movement, right? Yeah, if someone tries to get on it, for example. Okay. So Josie, if you're back there, you're welcome to play with some of the toys we brought. Well, I heard another voice when you were gone, by the way. Of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. They always speak up after I leave. They do. And you're sure that's not the voices in your head, right? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> that was what makes it exciting. All right, I'm just going to come back here for just a second.
So we're only going to be up here for, what, five more minutes maybe? Yeah, not for too long. So i tell you what, I, I know um, I'm going to take a seat over here. Maker. The maker. You're probably told not to speak to strangers. And that's fine. That's fine. My name is T. And over there's my... Was that you squeaking? Ooh, no, that wasn't. I heard that. Yeah, that's... Now I hear you squeaking. I heard What that. was that? It sounded like a voice. I, I don't... It did. Yeah, it wasn't your... No, you're, it I wasn't me. It wasn't. It nothing got like caught that. in my throat. There was... I, I marked it, but... I, it was a mumble. Did you you heard that right? One hundred percent. You're probably told not to speak to strangers, and that's fine. That's fine. My name is T. And over there's my. Was that you squeaking? Ooh, no, I wasn't. I heard that. I tell you what, I I know. Um, I'm gonna take a seat over here. Ooh. Maker. Maker. You're probably told not to speak to strangers, and that's fine. That's fine. My name is T. And over there's my. Was that you squeaking? Ooh, no, that wasn't. I heard that. Yeah, that's now I hear you squeaking. I heard what that. What was that? It sounded like a voice. I I don't. It did. Yeah, it wasn't your. No, you're it wasn't me. It wasn't. Nothing something. got caught in my throat. There was. I, I marked it, but. I, it was a mumble. Did you you heard that right? One hundred percent. Is there someone back there? Feel free to clip that if you want. Clip that and see if uh, you heard it. He's not talking to you. It was when whoever made that noise back there. It was it was when I introduced myself. We didn't get to me. I'm Phil. Maybe you could say your name again. That was crazy. That was, that was good. Nuts. One. That was a good one. Oh, sorry. Don't ever whisper during a, during the investigation. Don't ever whisper. Sometimes you may forget. You might forget. Especially when you're in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like us to go back downstairs now? If you want us to head downstairs, then give us a sign. Stay here. Just, just, just a little minutes. bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Yeah, and we won't say a word. You have the floor. You can say whatever you wish to say. We're just gonna sit here in silence for our last few minutes up here. Josie, I have a daughter too, and uh, she's growing up. She's growing up very, very fast, and uh, I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of her. She's very smart. She um, she loves astronomy. She's learning sign language. It's where you speak with your hands for people who can't hear. But she also plays games too. I'd be curious as to what kind of games you play. Yes, I am waiting. I'm waiting for my buddy Phil to come back. And um, we're moving on to something different. We're moving on to a different spot. Okay, so that's Phil talking to our new lady downstairs. Just so you all know, Chet, this right here is something called Paratech. It is a device that has a word bank. In it. Okay, I'm back. The idea is, is that when, without waiting, 
after you left. Oh. Yeah. Um, and the idea is, is that uh, the spirit comes in here, looks at the word bank, finds the word it wants to use, and then it pops up. And when you hear that uh, robotic voice, that's when the word is out. The word is out when you see it. Right now it's generating a word. And the magic word it generates is squeak. Did you put a mouse or anything up there? Uh, no. Just a mouse, no? Okay. And none of the toys. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. It wasn't, wasn't the sound of me sitting on the chair, was it? Oh, the motion lights went on. I just saw that, yeah. That was the motion light, everyone. What are you doing? I'm just turning my light level down. This is a skoosh. Yeah. Just a skoosh. Just a skoosh. You know what your fun is? I'm going to turn it off. Uh, and just let just see if anything lights up in the dark. There's some combination there. <laughs> There's a lot of groaning, a lot of uh, a lot of wood creaking. Or no, I thought you were going to talk about us groaning. <laughs> no, no, well, yeah, there is us groaning as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Motion light went off again. Oh. You actually going to use a yellow light? I'm just messing with it. Oh. Downstairs? I think so. Okay. I'll take that one with me. Do this. Stop this one. So it's we're going to head downstairs. Whoever's up here, you're welcome to play with the toys. In fact, we would love it if you did. That's me. Yeah. And I'm that squeaking. wasn't the sound that we heard. Um, no. No, it was not. No, no it was definitely not. Okay. It was, a, it was a mumble. You sure you don't want to? Make the uh, the ball light up again, or is that uh, that teddy bear a hug? The teddy bear loves hugs. So, obviously, the reason I had the two clips back to back was because I wanted to illustrate the difference between what we caught on two different devices. That verification, that verification, you know, I love so much. We got it both on the camera and we got it on the H4 yeah. that is in my hand. Yeah. And it, I remember, well, it, it's, that, it's that beautiful moment that we've always talked about where it just, the, the energy just, just, just skyrockets in the room. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're yeah. like, okay, I know I heard that in my headset. I know I heard that in my headset. And uh, that is just a magic moment from fuck here for me. Nice editing, by the way. Thank just you. Just so you all know. Master. Phil, yes, Phil. Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I prefer I prefer a master Quigon. Okay, because yes. <laughs> of the Nasons. Um, Phil has been uh, teaching himself some Adobe Premiere to help alleviate some of the editing that I'm going through, and this this is a big step forward. Now, I want to say too that this is also, as you can see, you can tell about the traffic going by in the background mm -hmm. and just how busy it was in Fakir, mm -hmm. and yet. And yet we still managed to get that voice on three different devices, yeah, yeah. and you know, of course, three varying qualities. I mean, you've got you've got the the, mm -hmm. the mic on the Phasm Cam. Mm -hmm. There's the mic on our our actual cameras, and mm -hmm. then you've got the H4 that's in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And apparently, apparently, T the the mother passed away in that room. Then that Joe's would ex wife and the, mother of Josie, perhaps. This is where the mother died. So there's there's a lot of action happening yeah. in this room. Yeah, and. Um, 
I was getting familiar with the Paratech. I don't know what it was about that particular that particular visit, but man, I just I you were you were you were digging it. I was really really having a good time. It's a great with the device. Now, great now device. the Paratech again is it is similar to the Ovulus in that it is a it has a word bank and based on at least for the for the Paratech, which is by a developer. Appy Droid, based out of the UK, I believe. You can find them on Facebook and on Etsy. Uh, highly recommend they make, uh, there's one guy, this guy Ian, fantastic products. Uh, so it's a word bank, like the Ovulus. It will uh, randomly select words based on changes in various environmental parameters, mm -hmm. EMF, etc. The motion lights, these, these have been... Uh, Old reliable since old, the days of faithful. Yes, yeah, since the days of Crescent. Yes, and they were and they were triggering off. Now, you know, again, uh, as 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 you saw in the clip, there is no there's no movement back there. There's no, no there's no that we can see. There. Not that we can. Not see. that we can see. So after the upstairs area, we headed uh, back downstairs to the kitchen, which incidentally was located, I believe, directly below where we were. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And, uh, it, and it is, you, you walk uh, out of reception, you walk into that room with the mirror and all the Civil War uh, regalia, and then you keep walking, and the kitchen's back here. Mm -hmm. And this is where, if I remember correctly, the jailer's wife, her dress caught fire. Her dress caught fire, yeah. and, she, and she unfortunately died from those wounds several to, days yeah. later. She succumbed to those wounds, yeah. And I felt this would be an ideal spot to set up the flare. Okay. And again, in this extended clip, you're going to be uh, seeing uninterrupted a shot of the kitchen. There will be a picture-in-picture, picture, though, of my second camera, which had an eddy, which had uh, a cat ball, and what I call... Edison or an EMF spike from Ghost Stop. So you're going to see all that in this portion right here. Again, not us. We're just going to sit back and we're going to let, bring you into the investigation. Before we jump into the clip, right? You looked like you anticipated I was about to I say something. I did. It was a, it was a disturbance in the force. So, so go ahead. <laughs> you can't always get all of your gear in frame, and sometimes you have you have a device go off and you can hear it but you, you can't see it and if you have a camera to spare it's always a great practice to train that camera on the gear it's also nice because when you do that you will have events that the other gear pick up that way you can have stuff corroborating uh, Bingo. You know, whether it's us asking questions yeah. whether it is answers to questions responses yeah. those little bits i think count a lot 100 percent. let's hit it the kitchen. The kitchen. Fuck your jail. 9.47 p.m. Very good. Yeah. Trying to be yeah. yeah. Really that's trying. I'm just doing one continuous file, but I should be breaking it up because yeah. there's going to be a difference between one and the other. I'm just worried that when I turn it off, that's when we'll hear a door go off or a, or a light or yeah. something. Yeah, I've got the H1 running continuous. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So, so if you're here with us, could you make one of the lights, red or green, go off on on that black triangle in the center of the room? Well, it's just make, a nice way of letting us know that you're here. What did it say? They made the puck go green. They made the puck go green. Oh. They did. So my name is Phil. And my name is T. Is the and is you've got a low here? battery on this phone. Oh, I do. Good to know. I'll. I'll uh, Grab a charger before we move okay. across. Is the jailer's wife here with us tonight? Well, let me let me go on ahead and ask uh, this question real quick. If you're a man, could you make the red light go off? If you're a woman, would you make the green light go off? Wow. That was prompt. That was very prompt. Okay. Maybe we okay. should. Okay. Uh, we'll let that go back to blue. That's kind of our resting mode. Yeah. Good yes. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you have a lovely home. This 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 place is so neat. Uh, 
I love Virginia, but I don't like Virginia summers. Um, pollen, just the, the, the stuff in the air, it just makes me sneeze. What was that? Is that you? It's that one. Oh, it's a REM pod. It's a REM pod? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are you here with us right now? That's a silly question. Of course you are. But yeah, I mean, we, but I was talking about, I was talking about fuck here. I was talking about the area, just what it's like. I would imagine, though, that the prisoners here probably don't like it so much. Yeah. Are there any prisoners with us right now? Out of your cell? Well, prisoners wouldn't come back into the kitchen to work, I would imagine. Well, and this would kitchen they? was added on. So oh, this room, kitchen was added on. Yeah, the room yeah. behind you that we came through. Um, that, was, that was Eddie. That was, uh, that was Eddie. Was the jailer's original rooms, I think. No, I have it backwards. It was cells, and then they converted it into the jailer's room. Right. Basically, and then this was the kitchen. But from the looks of it, you made the most of it. It may not have been the most glamorous position, but it was a very important position in the town. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, not an album. What was that? Album. Album. So apparently it was common for skirts to catch fire in the heart. Really? Yeah. yeah. Were, were you just not thinking? Did it just happen? I mean, we're sorry that it did happen. That's not, not a pleasant experience by any stretch of the imagination. It must have been terrifying. Yeah. Do we know her name? Pip, do we have a name of this, uh, of the, of the, of the, the jailer's wife? Red? Yeah. Red. Would you rather not have us refer to you by name? I mean, if you want to keep this formal as possible, we can miss. If you would prefer us not to use your name, you can wait when it goes blue. You can uh, say, you can make it go green. Lucky. You can make it go green and tell us, yes, I would prefer we keep this formal. If you would prefer, I got your name, by the way, but if you would prefer that I not say your name, just go ahead and make the uh, red light go off again. And I'll be more than understanding. More than yeah, understanding. Yeah, absolutely. We're guests here. We're guests. 100%. And we're trying to be the, uh, the best guests that we can be. Because we would like to be invited to come back here. Okay. Okay, so you don't want us to... We will not use your name, then. That's fine, miss. I mean... We were gonna, we'll keep it formal, miss. We will keep it formal. But maybe if, if, you, if we get to know you, you'll give us uh, an permission. opportunity. And permission. Yeah, yeah, permission. To use your name. And we would love to be guests of your house again. Very much so. Because, I feel like there's yeah. a lot of stories here. My buddy Phil and I are both storytellers. Ooh. Young. Yes, you 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 did you did pass young, you did pass young. I have a question. Is is Josie here? The little girl from upstairs. Yeah. Does Josie ever spend time here in the kitchen? Does Josie ever spend time here in the kitchen? Do you know what was big back in this time? Mm. You won't believe it. Mac and cheese. You know who made it popular? Who? Jefferson. Thomas. I'm not. I'm. This is. Get out of here. No, I'm telling Here's you. Your lesson, folks.
because of this person's skill with making mac and cheese, he insisted on importing pasta from Italy so that he could have this mac and cheese. It was pretty, it was pretty ballin'. It was ballin' mac and cheese, but not as good as my four cheese mac and cheese. Yeah, your four cheese mac and cheese is today. Oh, look at that. You get a lot of hits over there in your mouth. I know, I know. Mm. So we're gonna only be in here, holy smokes. Is it already the flux 10? gets going and you lose track of time. It's yeah. Somehow it is 9.57. <laughs> I don't know how that well, our, our new, our new, um, our new chaperone did say time flies when you're having fun. I mean, we got here at six and it is now nearly 10. I don't know how that happened. I do not know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I just have one last question. Oh, I have one last question for our hostess. Ma'am, would you be okay with us coming back another time? Green for yes, red for no. I saw that. Yeah, I heard that beep. It, and please be as honest as you like. We are trying to be the, the best guests we can be. Yeah, so that would be green for yes. You find us extremely charming. And you'd love for us to come back. Or red for no, I would prefer that you didn't come back. Something we might have to take under advisement. So a couple of EVPs, and then you notice that there was this just heat spot kind of in the upper right, right corner a little bit. Uh, I made sure that I was positioning it so we weren't getting any of our bodies right. in it. Uh, and that is hotter than anything else in the frame. Because the white is hot, right. the hottest, then red, not as hot, and then from there it's cooler. So it makes everything look cooler we're still playing around with FLIR. We're still playing mm -hmm. around with the footage, trying to understand the, 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 the results and what, what we do and what we don't get. This one, however, is, is pretty amazing because that is such a, um, a definitive source of heat. Yes. And yet, when you look at the rest of the kitchen, it is, yeah. uh, according to the FLIR, it is ice cold. Yeah, and it's not often we really see something pop like that on the FLIR. Thanks everyone for watching. This wraps up part one of our investigation at the historic old jail in Fauquier. We're gonna be back in a few weeks with part two, so we hope you join us for the premiere there. But while you're waiting, you may be thinking, you know, that Eddie or the Spike, how could I get one of those? The good news is we are Ghost Stop Affiliates. And if you go into the show description and you click on the affiliate link that's featured there, you can help out Old Spirits by making purchases using that link. And we appreciate that in advance. Again, thank you for joining us for part one. On behalf of everybody here at Old Spirits, take care, stay safe. And we'll see you in the field. <laughs>